Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on solving for a reactant in a solution. So this is a stoichiometry problem. You're given a certain amount of copper that was produced from copper sulfate. So copper sulfate is one of your reactants. Copper metal is one of your products and they told you how much copper metal that you had. So if you were to have 1.22 milligrams, so you're going to have so many grams of, mole, of, of copper. And then remember, you have to go through moles to get to the balanced equation. And I have a one-to-one -one relationship. Okay, I have a one-to-one -one relationship here. So that means that uh, as soon as I have moles of copper, I know how many moles of the, car, of the copper sulfate that I had. And they're asking for a concentration. So they're not exactly asking for grams. They're not exactly asking for moles, they're asking for a concentration. And I imagine that what they're asking for generically is just some kind of a, um, how much stuff is in how much is in the solution. So there's various types of uh, concentrations. We've looked at molarity in the past where you have moles uh, within a certain amount of liters of solution. There's others. Um, if they're just asking you a generic question of concentration, I would imagine that they want grams. In a certain number of liters. Okay, so grams in a certain number of liters. So we need to know we're given milligrams of copper. We need to know how many grams of copper sulfate that that is. And then we need to know how much copper sulfate in terms of volume that they're talking about so we know how many grams of this is within the solution to find out the concentration. So I think that's what we should be going for. All right, so first of all, what are we told? He, he adds powdered iron to 450 mils of copper sulfate. So that's how much we have originally. We have 450 milliliters and if we want liters, remember milliliters there's a thousand, so I'm going to divide by three. So I'm going to divide three times. So this is 0.45 liters. I just need to know how many grams of copper sulfate is uh, to find this concentration. Okay. So um, I'm given 122 milligrams. So to go through the periodic table, I need grams because uh, the, the atomic masses are in grams per mole. So let's start first with 122 milligrams and in one gram, there are a thousand milligrams. Okay, so I want grams so that I can go through the periodic table. So I'm dividing by a thousand, so I've got it, the decimal points after the two, that means I'm going to have point 0.122 grams of copper. And when I go through the periodic table, I find out that in one mole of copper, I have 63.546 grams of copper. Okay, so I'm starting with what I've given. I'm starting with the copper. So 0.122 divided by 63.546. I'm going to have 1.919869. I'll round all this later. Times 10 to the minus third moles of copper. Now that I have moles, that's here, I can go one to one. I have one mole of copper is to one mole of copper sulfate as this many moles of copper is to the same amount of copper sulfate. So I can jump down and say that I have 1.919869 times 10 to the minus three moles of copper sulfate. Good, I'm almost there. Now I have moles, I just need grams, and it'll be grams per mole. So I need the atomic mass of this stuff. 
right, the atomic mass of copper sulfate. So I've got one copper in it, so that's one times 63.54 uh, six. I've got one sulfur in it, one times 32.06, and I have four oxygens times 15.994, 63.546 plus 32.06 plus, I have to do this times 4 times 15.9994 equals, equals, and I'm going to have, that's, total, I, I had to do this four times there, so 159.6036 grams per mole. Alright, so I know how many moles, I know how many grams per mole, so I've got 1.919869 times 10 to the minus third moles, and then one mole I've got 159.6036 grams. Moles cancels. And the calculator says I should have 0 0.306418 grams of copper sulfate. So I'm almost finished. I've got grams. I have 0.45 liters, so I'm going to just take this number grams. I'm going to divide it by 0.45 liters of solution, and I should have 0 0.68092889 grams per liter. Now I need to round this because I need to only go with what I'm given. I have three significant digits here. I have three significant digits here. So that means I want to go to 0.68, that's two, here's three. That nine's bigger than five. So it'll be 0 0.681 grams per liter. Okay. Hope that helps.